Just finished putting together a manual wastegate controller for my 6.5 that I'm building for my Land Cruiser. Uh, this is actually the stock um, wastegate controller, which is you know originally vacuum driven. It had this cap on it. And this uh, is kind of pinched together all the way around here. So I ground off that, got rid of that top hat here. Inside there, you've got the shaft that comes up and connects to this, which has this uh, vacuum diaphragm on there with this piddly little spring underneath of it. Um, I kept this, drilled it out, I kept the original shaft, and I kept this bottom bowl. Um, that's already what bolts into this mount here. So I went ahead and kept that so I'd have something that bolted to it. This shaft here, I welded a sleeve to it. It's probably just a little short of a quarter inch. Um, so I welded this shaft to it that's a quarter inch, or I'm sorry, the sleeve to it that's a quarter inch sleeve, and I used quarter inch all thread and welded it on the other side. I kept this bowl that was in here. Um, it was almost perfect for the spring that I used. The spring that I used is actually off of a uh, Toyota wastegate controller, a Kinagawa. Uh, one that I'm running on my Forerunner. Um, this was a 12 PSI spring. Uh, they were supposed to send me a 15, so they ended up sending me the 15, and I got to keep this one. Uh, it doesn't matter what the pressure is, really, as long as it's a good heavy spring, because you can adjust the preload with the wing nut up here. So uh, basically, once I get everything hooked up and have my boost controller on here, um, I can run it wide open throttle under load, and if it Say I want to do 15 PSI, well, if it's running 18, just got to loosen up the preload on this spring a little bit, and that'll drop my PSI down. And if I want to say it's running 12 and I want to run 15, just crank it down, put a little bit more preload on it. And that's actually setting the tension on this arm that controls the wastegate. So the more pressure you have on it, the more this is going to hold resistance against opening your west wastegate so pretty simple uh, the main thing to remember is make sure it's good and strong so that this doesn't break off and you lose all your parts going down the road and leave yourself enough thread see I can come all the way down to about right in here with that wing nut that way I can crank the boost way up if I need to it's got a long way to go before I run out of preload that I can put on there. And see, it's getting to the point now where there's so much pressure on it, I can barely turn this wing nut, so that would be way too much. And obviously up here, wouldn't even be putting any preload on the spring. So, as long as you leave yourself plenty, I can't even open that right now. So, I have plenty. But that's it, fairly simple, fairly easy. I might clean this up a little bit more with a Dremel or something like that, but I just use a bench grinder. All right, that's it.